Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm buying every single viral lip product that I've seen like on TikTok or like wherever that has a bunch of hype around it and tell you guys if it's actually worth it or not. And yeah, basically just waste a bunch of my money so you guys don't have to. I actually already have like a ton of the viral lip products like Summer Fridays, Road, and like a few others, but I'm gonna go get all the other ones I don't have or maybe like new flavors of Summer Fridays. I'm also really excited to try all the ones I've been like holding off buying like the Dior lip oil because it's literally like $40 but today we're getting it we're getting all of the viral ones so stay tuned and at the end I'll be reviewing all the products so yeah this is a fully honest not sponsored video so I'm giving you guys the real truth about your favorite viral lip products so disclaimer my voice sounds like this because i was just super sick but don't worry it's been over a week i'm not like going out in public and getting people sick so don't even start with that so yeah i apologize for my gremlin voice in this video but we're just gonna have to roll with it so yeah let's go into sephora and we have arrived at our destination. My first stop, of course, was Summer Fridays. I could not make a viral lip product video without a Summer Fridays lip balm. I already have some, but I wanted to get another one. I ran out of pink sugar, but I was tempted to get the vanilla one, but I ended up just sticking with my girl. Next, I stopped at Laneige, I think I'm saying it right, for a few of their products i've had this little peach uh lip balm before or i don't know if it's like a lip gloss or lip balm it's kind of both um but i wanted to get that one and then i also saw the chocolate and berry combo for valentine's day so cute but yeah i was torn between berry and peach so i ended up just getting both of them i've only tried the peach one and i loved it so I got a restock on that and then also got the berry one to try her out as well. And then I looked at their little sleeping masks as well. I recently tried the cotton candy one. I didn't like it at first. I usually like that vanilla one right there, but it grew on me. I like it now, but I wanted to try something new. So I grabbed the sweet candy one. Next, I stopped at Dior because you guys know I had to get a viral lip oil. I actually haven't got one for myself until making this video, so I was super excited to try one of these out. I ended up grabbing Raspberry. They're pretty low stock on most of them, but I felt like she was calling my name. Just a pretty pink sheer oil, so yeah, I grabbed her. And then I headed over to Tarte because I've seen these all over my TikTok for you page. I don't know how to say it exactly. The maracuja lip things. I don't even know. You guys have seen these. You know what I'm talking about. I ended up going to a different Sephora later and getting the plumping one. But I just grabbed the strawberry one for now. I don't know why I didn't film that. But next we're at Glossier for their balm.com lip balms um i've had the birthday cake one wasn't a fan but they're so popular so i just grabbed a mango one to try it out again next i stopped at rare beauty for their viral lip oils these are all over my tiktok just everywhere and i haven't tried it out yet so i was super excited to try one out i got it in shade hope Next, I stopped at Fenty Beauty for their gloss balms. I used to be obsessed with this one a few years ago. It's in shade Sweet Mouth, and it's so pretty. This one also is calling my name, but I just stuck with the one that I've tried before because I loved it so much. Next, I stopped at Tower 28 for their brand new like lip treatments. I was tempted to just get one of their glosses because I know those are so viral, but I really wanted to try out these new ones because I see them all over my TikTok. And my Sephora was like almost sold out of them. But I went with the last watermelon kiwi. It has like a cute little pink tint. So I got her. Next, I finally got my hands on the brand new milk jelly cooling water tint. They have them like hidden. So I had to like ask the employee and she like brought it out. And I was like, yes, immediately I'm taking this. So yeah, I secured the bag. Okay guys, so it's been a couple days and I've had a chance to try every single one of these viral lip products. This isn't even all of them, there's more down here. And then also, not only the ones that I got from Sephora, but the ones I ordered online and like have already had. So, yeah, I have quite a lot here. 
So yeah, I've literally tried every single viral lip product. Okay, so I have nothing on my lips right now. I am going to line them really quick because that's usually how I use my lip products anyways. Okay, you guys, starting off strong summer Fridays. Do not even get me started. These are like the best lip balms of all time. My favorite right now is Pink Sugar, but this one I have is Vanilla Beige, and it just has like a super like nudey like tint to it. It's so pretty. But I've been loving Pink Sugar recently, and it smells so good. Like all of the Summer Fridays lip balms smell so good. This is the Pink Sugar one. It's like a little baby pink tint and I'm gonna show you. I would try on this one, but I'll just show you this one. It's so pretty. I love a good like baby pink with a brown liner. It looks so pretty. It's not super like heavy and thick. It's more of like, I mean, it's, it's moisturizing, but it's kind of like buttery, if that makes sense, like. It just feels so good and I love the way it smells. This one is my absolute favorite, the pink sugar. You need her in your life. I'm gonna be wasting a lot of lip balm today. So I gotta show you guys all the other ones. But yeah, Summer Fridays, 20 out of 10, you need these in your life. Like if you have not tried these, like run, go get it immediately, okay? Okay. My phone just died in the middle of me filming so I went and made a coffee. Which worked out because this is really good. Ripped off the summer Fridays and I'm gonna reline my lip because this next product looks so good with a good lip liner. It's not perfect, but it's good enough. Next, do not even get me started right now. The Iconic Road Peptide Lip Treatment. And if you don't know what this is, then you literally live under a rock. This is Hailey Bieber's brand, and she literally killed it. I'm usually kind of sus about celebrity, like, beauty brands, but this is, like, the best lip treatment I've ever tried. This in my Summer Fridays is, like, they're that girl. This looks so pretty on your lips, like, just bare or with a lip liner. And let me just show you guys. I got the salted caramel one. Do you guys say caramel, caramel or caramel? I didn't know what I said, caramel. I think I said caramel. But this one is the Salted Caramel. It's just clear. She also makes um, tinted ones, which are really pretty. I just haven't tried them because they're always sold out. If she sold them in store, I would literally get every single one. The only thing that stops me when they restock is just the shipping is expensive because I live in Hawaii. But other than that, like... That is my only con with this product. It is so amazing. But when I run out, I'm definitely gonna go order more but this is her oops but look how stunning and it's like a treatment so it's like really thick and like decadent i don't know if that's the right word for this but and this stuff is like actually a treatment like it's not a light like oil like it's actually like hydrating your lips it's like thick and just glossy at the same time it's so pretty. It smells so good. They also have a birthday cake scented one and it's like pink writing on here. It's so cute. That's my next one I'm gonna get. I don't wanna wipe this off, but I'm gonna have to. I'm not even gonna reline my lips yet. It's fine. Next is Laneige. I think I'm saying that right. Please let me know in the comments. But Laneige is literally that girl. I got three products right now. This is the peach and this one's the berry lip glowy balm. So good. 10 out of 10. These are that girl. This is also that girl. It's just like not practical like walking around with it but it is called the lip sleeping mask so you're just supposed to keep it like in your bathroom and you're like getting ready for bed. This is the color. Stunning. Um, and I love that these come with a little applicator like this. This one is the Sweet Candy Lip Sleeping Mask. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. There was someone in my comments who told me to try this. So I love you. Thank you to whoever put me onto this flavor because it's so good. Or I don't know if it's a flavor, it's a scent. But yeah, it's so pretty and smells so good. I did get the cotton candy one if you guys saw my last video and honestly at first I didn't really like it but it's grown on me so yeah but this one I just love the color it kind of feels similar to the road but a little bit different they're both amazing just in different ways but this one's pretty I feel like it's way less like glossy than the road but it feels really good you're about to go to bed it's 
on there. So yeah, 10 out of 10. But yeah, so see the shine level with the sleeping mask? And then let me show you the Laneige Lip Glowy Balm. This one, so this one is the peach. Smells so good. This is the color. Really, really pretty. This one is the berry and it's this color. Let me just show you guys side by side. This one's like way more pink. This one's peachy as you can see. But let me just show you. I'm going to apply it like literally halfway on each side of my lip. And they both smell so good. Like you will not go wrong with either one. Berry on this side and then peach on this side. They're both very subtle. It's not like crazy color. It's a very, very light tint. And if you put a thin enough layer, it'll look clear basically. And as you can see, they're way more glowy than the Lip Sleeping Mask. So yeah, 10 out of 10. I have nothing bad to say about these. They're so good. You guys already know. You are not about to click on a viral lip product video without the Dior lip oil. This is specifically the Dior lip glow oil it says color reviver with cherry oil and this stuff i thought it was so overhyped i mean it kind of is because it's 40 dollars but i only recently caved and bought it because i tried my friends and it was actually so good i was shocked so yeah now i have my own i forget what shade this is this one is raspberry it's this cute little pink color but let me just show you guys it on it's so pretty in the applicator. I love, I love a good like fluffy applicator. Let me just show you guys. It feels so good putting it on. Like it feels bougie. Like obviously it's Dior, but it like actually feels bougie putting it on. Oh my gosh. It's so pretty. It's not sticky at all. It literally feels like butter on your lips. I use that word a lot to describe stuff, but if I'm calling something butter, that's good. I feel like the Summer Fridays and Road smell way better than this. It's, I don't even, like what is the scent? Like somebody tell me, like there's a scent, but I don't know what it is. Is it slightly minty? I don't even know, but the formula and how it looks and feels, 10 out of 10. It's so good. For $40 though, I don't know. I feel like you could get a different lip oil for less than $40 that feels as good as this, but she's cute. If you feel like being bougie, like go off. It's good, 10 out of 10. Okay, next, if you guys are ever on TikTok, I know you guys know what I'm talking about. This is the Tarte Maracuja. Am I saying that right? Somebody tell me. I'm so confused on the name. It's the Tarte Maracuja juicy lip. These are so, so viral. I got two of them. I got a plump and the regular one. And the regular one, I got it in shade strawberry. And it is just like way too red for me. Like I don't like it at all. I'll show you guys. Just on me. I think it's a really pretty shade, but I'm just not really a red kind of girl. But the shine and how it feels, it feels like butter so good and it smells really really good but the plump this one is my girl this color is stunning this one is in shade cherry blossom and i love because it's a plumping product i love that it's not like so crazy like burning your lips like they're gonna fall off because so many lip plumpers like literally make your lips feel like they're gonna fall off and i hate that i hate when it like turns my lips like beet red this one is just like a very subtle lip plump but let me just show you it's so pretty in the shine oh, it's so good these are like so worth the hype 20 out of 10 this one is amazing too it's just not the right color so yeah and they smell phenomenal wiping it off okay you guys you guys have to be nice to me because i'm gonna disagree with you this Rare Beauty lip oil might be one of the worst lip oils I've ever used. I'm so sorry. The shade, stunning. Rare Beauty usually like makes every product a freaking hit and they're amazing, but the lip oil just like kind of caught me off guard. Like, 
it doesn't smell bad. It smells kind of like chemicals. Like there's no scent. And then the shade though is so pretty. Like as you can see, stunning. I got it in shade Hope. I also have the blush in this shade Hope and it's phenomenal. But this lip oil, let me just show you guys. I mean, it's pretty and it's fine. It's just like kind of watery, not like a lip oil. Like it's not like giving that hydration feel. It literally just feels like water on my lips. And it just feels like not good, okay? It's not giving Dior lip oil. It's not that girl. So I'm gonna have to give this like a seven out of 10. It's not horrible. It's just not amazing. I think it kind of stained my lips a little bit, but I like the color, so I'm not mad about okay, it. Okay, so next is the Tower 28 brand new Lip Softy Tinted Lip Treatment, and I've been seeing this all over TikTok. I feel like anything Tower 28 usually goes viral, but this stuff is so good. This is the Watermelon Kiwi scent or flavor scent, um, but it's like a little pinky tint, and I do like the smell. It's not like the best scent ever. It's obviously like more fruity. I like my like summer Fridays and road like salted caramel. This one's like sugar. I don't know, pink sugar. This one is just like super fruity, which I don't mind. And it's really, really pretty. It's not, oh, that's a lot. It's not like the best lip product ever but i do really like it i also am putting on so much right now but it feels really good on my lips it's kind of like airy buttery like it's like light it's not like thick and caked on there but it's really really nice keeps my lips super moisturized but yeah if you like a little fruity scent this is your girl she does the job she's in cute packaging I like it 10 out of 10 it's not anything crazy like spectacular like my summer fridays are road but she's good next is the glossier balm.com this one is in mango i've had the birthday cake one before and i didn't like it so i was like well they're viral like let me just get a different flavor or scent just to give it another go this is the shade also um really really pretty shade i love the tint but this stuff is just like not that good to me like none of the scents smell really good and it's like not amazing it's just like meh to me it feels moisturizing it's just like nothing crazy you know i think these are like 14 dollars, which isn't expensive for sephora but still expensive compared to like if you go to target or something but it's okay if you're gonna spend that much like get a different one i think but yeah the packaging's cute but it's just not for me so like a five out of ten next is the fenty beauty gloss balm this one is in shade sweet mouth i love the baby pink color but it's really good i mean it's nothing crazy it's like kind of sticky as you can see but not like anything crazy it's not like unbearably sticky i don't know i've just moved on to better things like i know these aren't lip glosses but they look like lip glosses and they're hydrating so yeah it's just it's just better than this this smells really good but it doesn't smell like road and summer fridays so I'm gonna reline my lips. I just feel like I need it. Next, the Tatcha Lip Mask. This stuff is so good. It's almost like jelly form, but not like this kind of jelly form. It's like, I don't know, can you guys see? I love that it's almost like clear. I don't know. It looks really cool and it feels amazing. And it comes with this little cute wand thing to scoop it out. And this one is, I think they only make one, but it's a Japanese peach lip jelly is what they call it. And it just feels so good. It's so hydrating. I usually put it on at night just cause I don't like carrying little like jars around in my purse. I'd rather just have like a quick, easy lip balm, lip gloss, whatever. But this one, if you're just at the house, like, oh, 
I'll layer it on. It's so pretty and it just feels so like luxurious and hydrating. It's, it's that girl. So 12 out of 10, this is amazing. Okay, this is what you guys have all been waiting for. I finally got my hands on one. This one is in the shade Burst. And if you don't know what this is, this is Milk's brand new jelly lip and cheek tint. And it literally looks like Jello. Let me show you guys. Okay, this is her. Look at her. Oh my gosh. Okay. It literally looks like jello. Like in person, it's like crazy. Like, can you guys see? It's really messy because it's a tent. So it's literally gonna stain my hands like this all day. I saved this for last because it's a stain and I didn't want to like change my lip color before I like used all those products. But let me just show you guys. It is so pretty. It's like cooling. It's a cooling like lip jelly and it's like the craziest product. I've ever used. I love it. Let me just show you guys on the cheeks really quick, even though this is a lip video, but it's so pretty. You have to blend it kind of quick because it is a tint or a stain, so it'll just like stain wherever you put it. Like, look at my fingers, but it's so, so pretty. Like, it's just the craziest product, too. Like it feels so cooling, but it feels like you're rubbing jello on your face, which honestly I kind of love. It smells like, it doesn't really have a scent. It kind of does. I just want to like, so bad. But yeah, this stuff is so pretty. Like, I love it. It's just such a pretty pink color. They have other shades too that are so pretty but this one was calling my name. I eventually want to get all of them. Also, the packaging is so cute. I love the pink on pink. And then it's just like this cute little jelly product inside. It does only give you that much product. That's kind of a ripoff, I think, for $24. But I feel like this will last you a lifetime because, I don't know, it just, I barely put any on and it did my whole face. So. Yeah, I feel like I give this a 10 out of 10. It's a really cool product. Um, it'll last you all day if you want pigment in your cheeks that's not gonna come off or your lips. So yeah, so that will do it for all the lip products I have for you guys today. I feel like I got pretty much every single viral lip product. If I didn't, let me know in the comments. And also let me know any other video requests you guys have from me. Also let me know in the comments which of these lip products is your favorite if you guys have tried any. If you guys like this video, please like and subscribe and I'll have new content out shortly. Let me know any video requests in the comments and I will be on it. And I will see you guys in my next video.